Hey guys, it's Shannon. I am in the kitchen. I have been doing some photography and getting some shots for you guys for some upcoming kitchen renovation updates and the front doorbell just rang and I'm so excited. I have partnered with Home Chef to bring you this video and I'm gonna go run outside, grab the box to show you guys what's inside. So I'm so excited to introduce Home Chef to you guys. I wanted to take a second to thank them for reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity to try this out because we absolutely need it right now. We are in the middle of a kitchen remodel as well as a bedroom makeover. So anything to make life a little bit more simple and easy, I am all for. Home Chef actually gives you meal options. So you can go on their app, which I love. I love that I can just do it quickly from my phone scroll through the different recipes and choose the one that fits best for our family. We can also choose two serving meals or four serving meals, which I really like, but the app definitely was a plus for me and made it really simple to add what I wanted to our schedule. So we are a family of four, so I have chosen to add four servings to our two meals. So this is two meals worth in our box today, which I'm so excited to dig in here and see all the goodies that are in here. But Home Chef actually provides you with the recipes as well as all of the portion perfect sized ingredients that go with those recipes. So it's so easy, you just go on the app or you can go online, choose your recipes, they ship it right to your front door, and then all of your ingredients in your recipes are right here, and all of the meals only take about 30 minutes to make. So that to me saves me time going to the grocery store, meal planning, and also meal prep. So now that I've told you a little bit about Home Chef, I wanna do some of these recipes and create them for you guys to see. So the very first thing on top here are my recipes, the two that I chose, spinach artichoke chicken and steak with rosemary cream. So all the ingredients that are in this box go with these two recipes. And next we just open up this, it's kind of a plastic and foam type insulated container inside of the box to keep all the ingredients fresh in here. And here's a nice ice pack which you could reuse too. And then next is a piece of cardboard that kept the ice pack off of the ingredients and it says quality ingredients below. And now it's time for the fun part getting to those actual ingredients. So what I already love about this is your meals come bagged. So this bag says it's steak with rosemary cream. So these are all the ingredients already put together in a bag for that specific meal. There's not just a bunch of ingredients in here and you gotta dig through and find the ones that you want. And because we chose the four servings instead of the two servings, we actually have two of these bags. And then there's more in here, if you can believe that. There's another one of these quality ingredients below. So it's nice that these are all separated. So those were actually all the ingredients, but the chicken and the steaks are in the bottom so that those didn't get mixed up with the fresh produce. So there's another ice pack down there to keep those nice and cool. And then the chicken and the steaks all come in this zipper bag. And the chicken is all individually packaged, which I really love. That makes it easy for de-thawing. And then the steaks are also packaged individually so that, again, it's very nice for de-thawing or cooking quickly. So I have to say that I'm thoroughly impressed with this. I'm gonna pull out some of those ingredients so you can see them up close. And I can't wait. We're gonna be creating these recipes over the next couple days for our dinners. So I will share that too with you. I'm gonna be walking you through the spinach and artichoke chicken recipe. I started by reading through all of the directions. I also got out the extra few ingredients I needed, as well as the pots and pans. I laid all of the ingredients from Home Chef out on the counter and then preheated the oven to 400 degrees. 
Next, it was time to prep all of the ingredients. I thoroughly washed all of the produce and then patted them dry. I also chopped up the broccoli and the radishes to make sure they were bite-sized pieces. I also minced up all the garlic that was included with this kit. Next, I rinsed the artichokes really well and squeezed out any excess water, and then coarsely chopped those up. And the last thing I prepped for this meal was the chicken. I patted it dry and added some salt and pepper. Next, it was time to work on the roasted broccoli and radishes. I added the minced garlic, olive oil, and some salt and pepper to a bowl and stirred it all up. I added some non-stick cooking spray to a foil lined pan and added the broccoli and radishes mixture. Then I placed it into the oven for 17 to 20 minutes. While the vegetables roasted, I wilted some spinach with some olive oil and started to create the spinach artichoke mixture. Once the spinach had wilted down, I added the artichokes, mozzarella, cream cheese, salt, and pepper and stirred that all together in a mixing bowl. Then it was time to sear the chicken in a little bit of olive oil. I cooked them undisturbed three to four minutes on the first side and then flipped them over to finish cooking for two more minutes on the other side. Then it was time to pull the roasted vegetables from the oven and not only do they look beautiful, but they actually taste wonderful too. Then it was time to finish cooking the chicken. I added them to a baking dish that I had sprayed with some more cooking spray, laid those in the bottom, and then layered the spinach artichoke mixture on top. Then it was time to put them into the oven. I cooked them for eight to 12 minutes in that 400 degree oven. And here's a look at the chicken right out of the oven, nice and melty with the cheese, the spinach, and the artichokes. This meal took about 30 to 40 minutes to cook, which is perfect for our busy schedule. And not only that, but it was absolutely delicious. The chicken was so moist, probably some of the best chicken I've ever cooked myself. So the directions are worth following because you're gonna get a great result. They're also very easy to follow directions. After cooking the chicken, I was so excited to try the steak recipe after seeing how well the first recipe had turned out. So I did the same thing. I laid out all of my ingredients from Home Chef. I read through all of the directions and got out those extra ingredients and utensils that I needed to create this recipe. The steaks were nice and thick and juicy, really great quality. They cooked up on the stove perfectly. The cheesy mashed potatoes were super easy to create too. Just mashed up some potatoes with some cream and some cheese. The rosemary cream sauce for the steak was so easy to create too. It was the first time I've really made a cream sauce for steak and it was delicious. Last for this meal was just heating up the peas. I really love peas and these were nice and fresh and the bright green color just made this whole meal look beautiful and taste great. Creating these recipes was actually really fun. I enjoyed it. 
and knowing that my family was getting a healthy and beautiful meal at the end of this really added to the fun. Like I said, it's a beautiful and yummy, delicious meal. If you guys have any questions at all about Home Chef, you can leave those questions down in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you down there. I'm excited to bring you guys a exclusive offer for my viewers, and that is $30 off your first Home Chef order. All you have to do is go to Home Chef's website and enter the coupon code DAILYDIY30. I will have more details about this offer down in the description box below. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me. You can also hit the subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.